Hi, in today's video we're going to look at how to add an image to your website. So first of all, we are starting at the sign-in page for uh, the uh, platform. And uh, what we want to do here is to edit the website. Okay, so if we look top right, we've got an option here, edit site. So click on that and that takes you into the Weebly site editor. Uh, okay, so then we want to add a picture. Now, a picture is different to an item. So this is a product um, display. It's like it's like a gallery for products in your shop. So this is not a normal gallery. This is linked to your shop. So we would put photographs for specific items going into your shop. We would do that by adding through your shop. Uh, menu, which we will talk about in another video. What we're talking about today is adding um, photos or photos into a gallery. Okay, so if we have a look, we've got a gallery here on the gallery page. Galleries can be anywhere, but we've installed one here on the gallery page. Click and you can see it says gallery. Okay, so just click in the middle of the frame and it says gallery and it gives you options. So we can change how many photos we want laid across the page okay so let's set that to four again now for now but we could be three let's set it to four but that can be changed you can change spacing you can change the way that it is set up but we'll talk about galleries in another video what we're going to do here is add a photograph so adding a photograph in a gallery is a matter of putting the brow putting your um, cursor over a particular photograph and click on the photograph and you can you might have to click on it twice there but don't double click but just click like that and you can see here we've got that photograph okay and we can add a link to that photograph if we want to or we can add alt text which for SEO purposes is just really a description of the photograph so I put walking stick here this is a walking stick page uh, and you can caption it if you want to as well so you can put in caption and then hit done and then depend on how you've set up when the caption shows this is showing as a partial caption and it only shows when you put the cursor over it and you can have that for all of these okay so I'm going to take that caption option out for now if we want to add a photograph into this gallery click don't click on the photo click in between the photos and we get the gallery options and we get add images and click on add image and find an image and then select it and there we are so the image is now in the gallery we can click on that image and we can move it around the gallery and put it wherever we would like okay and then click on the image you can set any link you want from that so it might want to link it to a product okay so you've got your products here or you might want to link it to a page within your website which is there or you might want to link it to an outside page to another website so you just paste in the link there okay but if it's a if it's going to a link within your website then always use link and then standard page takes you to a standard page on the website product page takes you to a product page um, and then you've got blog posts if you're writing blog posts uh, files so you can upload a file to be downloaded or um, email so if you wanted somebody you put your email address in there and then when you click on that image it will launch the email software on the person's computer and they'll send you an email okay or you may want no link at all you might just want it to do that the other thing you can do once you click on the make sure you not click on them on the gallery not on the image and you can see you've got other options so you've got spacing around the images border so you can change the border of the image okay thin there and uh, image ratio so if you wanted it to be a rectangular image ratio it'll set it like so but as you can see then this doesn't show the whole image um, change that again a 
advanced image ratio let's go for for square see square doesn't show properly if you put none then whatever the image it'll show the whole image now bear in mind here that this gallery then means that if this photograph to the right of that blue image is square then you'll end up with a square image next to a rectangular image they won't all be the same um, so it's not quite as you the best thing to do is to make sure that every image you up upload is the same dimensions by cropping them first uh, or just uploading the same photos from the same camera and then um, and then you won't have to mess around with sizing okay and then just select image ratio none and there we are so we have an image there now delete that image click on it and delete Okay, so let's just do that one more time. Go to anywhere in the menu frame, not on the photograph. Click on the menu frame and you get the gallery option. Click on add images. Upload an image from your folder. And there we are, we have an image. You can then click on the image and you can drag it around and put it wherever you want in the gallery. Okay, so once that is done and you're happy with what you've got, all you do then is click publish and it will publish those changes to be live on the website. Okay, so I hope that that, um, that helped you and uh, do let me know in the comments below if you have a problem.